Welcome back to Cursed Mining. Between a lot of GPU and Thermopad videos, we have something different today. I found a 20 GPU mining rig frame. Let's set it up and talk about the build. The box almost did not fit the desk I'm normally filming on. Let's see how complicated it gets. We will talk about where I got it later in the video too. While I start building, what's my plan here? A 20 GPU rig build? No. Or at least not yet. The thing is, there is a NVIDIA rig, the boxed one. That's the miner I shot the mining rig basics video with. But there is a H110 Pro BTC motherboard in a 6 GPU case. That's a waste of valuable GPU slots. This got me looking for 12 GPU rig frames and then I found this beast which gives me even more space for experiments. Perfect. So a little spoiler, I might build the AMD rig, I still owe you a video about, into the 6 GPU box, then move the NVIDIA rig into the open air beast we are building right now. Back to the frame. This is super straightforward. Basically there are a few singular parts pre-assembled, or rather pre-welded, all metal, I'd say aluminium, like the stands, two plates for 10 GPUs each and one plate for motherboard and two PSUs. Awesome. No instructions included but also none needed. The longer screws go in the mounting plates, the shorter screws go in the rails where you screw down the IO shield. That's it. Basically just bolting everything together. There's not much choice either thanks to the pre-drilling and that's fine. I actually decided to install the motherboard already as well. I have a second Pro PTC. That was always my backup board. It can already go in so I can slowly start to prepare that build on the side. That was really easy. If fully built out the GPUs would still be rather close. But the purpose of getting a bigger frame was exactly not to care about spacing too much anymore. Let's talk about the rest of it before we discuss where I found it. While I try to give you a sense of scale for the frame compared to the 6 GPU box case. I'll still need a few parts to finish it. I got the PSUs, the motherboard and basics like that. I always have a few spare risers, but honestly not enough to fill this up. More on that soon, a little spoiler. I'll also probably want to build a small wall of fans, at least when 3080s move in that rig. So that is the logic behind this purchase. A rig to have enough space not to care, as I often move things around. Also I don't want to lose any mining time, so a rig like this is perfect. Just add a card. Even if I max out the H110, I could actually add a second motherboard to this. Say a 6 GPU board with an M.2 slot. And I could max out the whole frame. Let's see about that. To the other rig, without using too many splitters, I also already maxed out all the slots on the HX1000 IPSU of the box trick, and I'm pretty much at 70 to 80% capacity. So to add more cards, we'll double up for this build. I got a second HX1000i for this. A lot of you will probably ask where I found it and for a change this one is for the Europeans. There is a Polish eBay shop which offers a lot of different frames from 6 to 20 GPUs. Not bad. I will write the name of this shop in the description. This is not sponsored at all. I just found them while eBay cruising and this was exactly what I was looking for and it arrived in about one week. Honestly this frame is simple but a beast. So a quick video but also one I personally have been waiting for to make my life here easier. Maybe I could help some of you find your new frame. Awesome thing and easy to build. I'm already happy from this setup alone. There is more content in that regard upcoming too. Dandy Dane is doing some amazing 3D printing and I myself want to dedicate a feature on 3D printed mining parts as well. If crypto, tech and mining is your thing, please subscribe. I wish all the best to all of you. Happy mining and bye.